So this is a review of the uh, Fluke 17B digital multimeter. Uh, it's kind of a special meter from Fluke. It's actually not available in the Americas. It's meant for the Chinese domestic market. All right, let's go see what's inside this box. So, let's see. A little bit of advertising. And looks like a user's manual. Uh, hmm. I'm looking too promising, except maybe it's in English in the back here. Ha! It is. Well, might not be for export, but uh, looks like it's an English manual. Very nice. Uh, let's see. Probably a certification. That's great. Probably some instructions on what not to do with your meter. Um, good stuff. Uh, regulatory information. Uh, this is probably the warranty, which isn't going to work in North America, but let's take a look at the meter. Um, nice poly wrap bag. There she is. Well, it sure looks like a fluke meter. That's pretty good to know. Classic yellow case. Well, we'll take a big look at that in a second. What else do you get in the box? Some leads. That's good. They got a protector. They're probably pretty sharp. Good stuff. And... Ah! A thermal sensor. So this meter can take temperature. That's kind of handy. And that's it. All right, let's take a look at, close look at the meter. Oh, this is the meter. Looks like it's got uh, AC volts. Good. Let's throw it out of the box. DC volts, millivolts, uh, resistance, capacitance, current, milliamps, microamps. Oh yeah, this is definitely really good for uh, electronics design. And temperature. Batteries. All right. Looks like a couple double A's. Good stuff. All right. Well, this is definitely a decent meter. Actually, we got uh, the ceramic fuses. They uh, are a lot better in overload than glass fuses, which kind of explode all over the place when they really get stressed. So that's good. Uh, well, there you go. German-made fuse. Um, so they haven't stinted on their supply chain. Um, the classic fluke uh, attachment point for their um, their jacks that looks very standard, and uh, classic uh, all-in-one controller here that uh, runs the LCD, and I suspect it probably does pretty much all the other measurements as well. Uh, our little tone beeper here for the uh, ohm rating, and uh, down here, nice. Uh, precision loop of wire, probably for uh, current sensing. And, uh, well, yeah, it looks like there's some miscellaneous parts here. We got an oscillator, probably controls a little processor inside the product. And, uh, otherwise, uh, pretty clean build quality. All right, let's uh, take a peek at the other side of the board here. All right, so, some pretty, uh, Heavy greasing or some dielectric grease on the switches here. That'll keep them, I guess, lasting a good time. Enig plated, uh, basically gold plating on the uh, contacts there. That's awesome. Looks like there's a zebra stripe uh, attachment for the display. That's pretty darn standard. And there we can see uh, when it was uh, designed. Looks like it's uh, 2005. All right, well, for this test, we'll use my uh, Lab B&K Precision Power Supply. Decent little supply. You know, unfortunately, I don't have the money to spring for a uh, five-digit Agilent meter, but uh, we'll take a look at my previous uh, great Chinese buy, a Uni T81B, uh, and we'll uh, take a peek with the Fluke and see, uh, see how she correlates. So the real nice thing about the 9110 supply is you can actually adjust it in really precise increments. All right, so as you can see, uh, both meters are in uh, yeah, reasonable agreement. We have uh, 10 volts on the power supply nominally, and they're measuring uh, a couple of millivolts lower. No surprise, uh, the power supply meters on most power supplies are a little bit off. 
put 11 volts in and uh, yeah pretty close let's put uh, 20 volts into the thing and uh, yeah pretty good correlation so um, we'll move a volt down and uh, yeah, pretty decent let's uh, Let's play with millivolts. Let's put uh, 50 millivolts into it and let's see if she ranges down properly. 50.02. Yeah, pretty sweet. Now you can see the uh, Uni T isn't so good of a meter. It uh, doesn't I don't think it has auto ranging this thing, but uh, let's move it down a bit. Yeah, good. Excellent. Good correlation. So, um, what can I say? It's a uh, voltmeter. All right. Well, one thing I didn't actually realize you got with this thing was. Um, a temperature sensor and it's probably a small thermistor it looks like at the very end there and uh, kind of handy uh, temperature is pretty important in electronics design so uh, let's see 29 oh, almost 30 above in my lab yeah it's a pretty hot summer day today and uh, that uh, correlates to my rather cheap and cheerful uh, lab uh, the thermometer I bought a few years ago just to see how crazy hot it had gotten here in the summer and uh, yeah I could probably use some air conditioning here. Alright, well that works pretty slick. So uh, basically I think we're looking at uh, a really well priced meter. It's uh, around a hundred dollars um, and uh, if you look uh, in the fluke lines available in the Americas uh, you know it's an E7 is sort of the first one you get where you get the uh, the millivolts, which are pretty darn important when you do electronics work, milliamps, so uh, microamps even, that's really quite handy. So, you're looking at a pretty decent meter here for electronics work. It uh, looks like it's, yeah, basically a fluke meter at a, a fine price.